Good morning everybody, it's 7.30 a.m. and uh, yep, the tire is still mega mega flat, in fact it's gone down like all the way, look at that, Wah. yeah, totally toast. Somewhere here we've got a big chunk of metal in there, I think a nail or something, actually there's two chunks of metal in there and yesterday we were riding as it was slowly going down and luckily we got to an accommodation in this town called Armenia and this morning my mission is to take poor hurt bumblebee over to a tire shop and see if we can get a replacement for this tire oh 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 <laughs> hit me on the head bye bye Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Alright, here we go. Let's see how Bumblebee handles with a completely flat rear. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a wobble in the steering, but actually it's pretty smooth. So there is actually a motorcycle shop just there, but we, we had a look at the pictures of this one. I think this one's called Ronda. And uh, in the pictures, this one looks like it has a lot of tyre options and maybe even some 50-50 or sort of more off-road, on-road tyres rather than just road tyres but let's see what they've got that will fit our tyre size Oh, red light Lavi's obviously staying at the accommodation this morning chilling, having a coffee in bed, hey? <laughs> Actually handling pretty well <laughs> with a completely flat rear It's literally only a few blocks away A couple of blocks more and then to the left, a couple of blocks down there and we should be there. Look at this crazy church. Oh, really historic and nice. Don't run over the dog. Don't have insurance to cover dogs. What am I doing? I'm going into normal motorbike mode like, yeah, just blast past the bus. I'm like, wait, hold on a minute. I've got literally got no air in the rear tire. I should take it easy. Right, everything's alive. At um, 7.50 in the morning. Crazy. Let's just see if the mechanic is alive. Seems to be a lot of motorcycle shops here. But where is the one that we have looked up online? Ah, oh, where is it? Ronda, 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 Ronda. Ronda, Ronda, Ronda. It had lots and lots of tyres. Ruda. Okay, so the guy working in this shop, this fella here, he has told me that there's a place just up here that will probably have something that I need. He says that he just has road tires in his shop, so that could be an option B to get a road tire, but ideally we want something with a little bit of off-road capability. So anyway, he said that just up here is a place called Rally Motos. So we'll ride over to Rally Motos and see what they got. You have a lot of tires. <laughs> but not the one that you're looking for. Oh uh, no, really. What do you have in one, 150 70? Ah, you have this tire. Okay, I see. And this is the, like 100, the... 150 60. Uh huh. Do you think there's another shop yeah. here that yeah. would have something? This corner, the other one. Okay. Or the street, okay. Yep. That's the other one. Or okay, maybe, okay, yep. Maybe the other one, the yellow and black. Oh, central. Um, yes. Yeah, okay. Central. And the other one is multi yantas. Oh, I see. Uh, yantas. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Three more recommendations over here. So let's let's check these ones out. So far, everyone just has road tires. Hola, buenas. Buen día. Buen día. Tiene uh, 100, 150, 60, 
No, 70. Es, es, es 150, 70. Uh, sí. 70. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. These tires in ah. uh, Carusi. Okay. For our rear tires. It's a, yeah, it's a 50 50 or 70. Uh, this is 50 50. Perfect. Cool. Metzler, Metzler Caru Street. For $117. Okay. okay. Yeah, perfect. He got out the nail from the tire. Look how big that is. Oh, that was what was inside. Look at that. There's mucho peso. Todo tempo. <laughs> Todo. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you so much. Buena suerte en tu camino. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Yes, Bumblebee is back on the road with the new Metzler Karu Street tire, I think it's called. So that is awesome. And that was done super fast. It's only 9 a.m. So we managed to get that sorted super fast, super easy. So I'm just gonna head back to the hotel where Lavi is and we'll uh, load up Bumblebee ready to hit the road. There we go, look at these. <laughs> Wow, they look amazing! Look at the tread. Nice. Nice yeah, deep tread. Really cool. Look how wide it is. It yes. should last a lot longer. Hopefully. <laughs> well, I'm so super happy that we managed to get a new tire because otherwise it would have been a disaster. I mean, our flight is very, very soon. So I'm super happy about that. Bravo. We love you, Colombia. Muchas gracias. <laughs> yes, it's a new bumblebee. All right. Ciao, ciao! <laughs> cool bananas! That's amazing! I'm so unbelievably happy as well now the job in Bogota to get a new tire is like, you know, <laughs> not yeah. necessary anymore! Yeah. <laughs> the only thing we have to do before the flight now is get Bumblebee cleaned, which we've got the whole day tomorrow to do and the flight is the day after, so... No problem! Oh, I nearly forgot. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 345 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here, as I said, this morning in the town of Armenia in Colombia. And today we are going to try and do our last ride over to Bogota. We have our flight where Bumblebee is going to be flown over to Panama to Panama City in two days time. Oh look, this bakery is called Peter Pan <laughs> and pen is like bread. <laughs> ah, I totally <laughs> get that. <laughs> That's cool. What is he having there? Is this bread or is it cheese? I think it's bread. <laughs> So it's actually just 170 miles, but Google Maps says it will take us 6 hours and 30 minutes. Knowing us, it will probably take us more like 10 hours. So I don't really know if we get there today, but we will try our best. So it's already 9.45. Better hit the road. Let's go. Wow, I can't believe how good the tire feels. So smooth around corners and just the handling. It's really good, it's really good. Yeah, let's see how long this tire will last for. I'm excited to find out. Starting to climb out of the valley now. And actually there's two ways from here over to Bogota. You can either stay on this road, which is the Ruta 40, and that winds its way up and over the mountains, or you can take the longest tunnel in the Americas. So of course we're going to take this tunnel because that's 
crazy. It's 8.6 kilometers long. Incredible. <laughs> it's nearly double the second longest tunnel in the Americas, which I think is in North America somewhere in the USA. But 8.6 kilometers of being in a tunnel, I freaking love tunnels. <laughs> so we've got a couple of miles of winding roads to climb up and then we'll start the tunnel called La Linea. Look at this car. Oh cool. How cool. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's an amazing car. Amazing. Is it free? Is it free? Is it free? Oh, yes, is it? it is. No way. That's okay. incredible. I would say that this is the moto lane. Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I love that all the payages are free for motos in like so many countries. Amazing. My god we just went through the longest tunnel in the americas and my front camera totally froze and didn't record anything <laughs> such a pity you i can't believe it and then lavi checked her camera and her camera had like spun around on the pole yeah we need to fix something with our cameras because our cameras they're really like uh are on a blink to die. But I can tell you, it was straight, dark and cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yeah, <laughs> crazy. Well, I don't know what we managed to record exactly, but I'll tell you a little bit about that tunnel. It's 8.6 kilometers long and it was built to bypass the uh, central chain, the central cordillera of the Andes Mountains. Once it was built, it actually cut the transport time by a lot, like an hour and a half for trucks and like 40 minutes for light vehicles. And apparently it saves the government $50 million a year in like not having to repair the mountain roads or landslides and uh, the more efficiency of the transport. On a long journey as ours is, I do appreciate nice tunnels and nice roads, nice constructions. I never looked on the road and said like, wow, that is a nice looking road. But <laughs> since this journey, I'm like, man, I want to ride this road. This road looks nice. Here's a cool tunnel. You know, you really appreciate this um, genius of like road um, construction. This is a crazy construction, this road between uh, Cali and Bogota. I mean, look at it. It's just like carved into the mountain with loads of tunnels. Yeah, That's I really appreciate that because my leg was really sore after doing so many twisties when yeah. we first arrived in Colombia. So yeah, I'm crazy. pretty glad that there's like uh, some, some straights at least. What a construction, what a road. Love it. Look at these beautiful hills and valleys. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing here. I love the nature so much. Colombia is actually the second most biodiverse country in the world, which is absolutely crazy, but it's because they've got the Pacific coast, they've got the Atlantic coast, they've got the Andes mountains, they've got the Amazon rainforest, they've got deserts in Colombia as well. How crazy is that? They have even a desert. Yeah. And you can just see when you look around you. I mean, there's such a variety of different plants and colors and everything, you know? It's like super crazy. I'm really blown away. I didn't really expect that. Wow, we just ordered a vegetarian rice dish and look at this beautiful thing. Wow, are oh. we here at MasterChef or somewhere? Like, that looks absolutely awesome. It does, it looks really nice. And it's like got spices and it smells beautiful. Because so many times we've ordered like rice and veg and they put basically like lettuce and tomato on the side of just plain rice and that's it. So this is the first time we've had like a proper 
dish. Look at this. Yes, try it, okay, try okay, it, okay, try okay. it. <laughs> mm. How is it? It's got flavor in it. Mm. Nice. It's actually got flavor, you know? Mm. Mm, delicious otherwise it's super crazy because they're building the road outside here and these guys over there they waited probably for like 15 minutes already to pass they're all going now crazy they just opened the road and now it's like bow, 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 bow. and this is the same direction that we're going so we're going to be stuck behind all of this after lunch we were just about to go up the hill and we realized that we've missed our chance it's like a one-way system at the moment because of the construction and at the moment everybody's coming down so basically we have to now wait for these guys at the bottom of the hill and then we need to be the first to go up the hill so now we have to wait maybe five ten minutes more eventually coming down into a beautiful valley look at this view and we're no longer stuck in any traffic jams which is great and i thought this would be a good opportunity to uh tell you guys a little bit of our research into this wonderful country colombia so the area what is colombia today has actually been home to indigenous people for 14,000 years, at least 14,000 years from the archaeological sites. They've managed to date it to 12,000 BC. So humans have been here for a long time. But the Spanish got here in 1499 and uh, Colombia didn't actually get its independence recognized until 1819. And now the country is home to 52 million people and it's the second biggest economy in South America. And although Spanish is the national language of the country, there are actually 64 other recognized languages, uh, indigenous languages. And also, interestingly, there's some islands where English is the national language. The islands of San Andreas uh, in the Caribbean, they are Colombian, but the language is English. Yeah, super interesting country. Yeah, so we still got four hours riding to do to get to Bogota and it's currently quarter to one. So we're still doing pretty good. At the moment, there's still a chance that we can make it there today. Yes, fingers crossed, hey? Yeah. Beautiful, <laughs> awesome, cool. <laughs> Loving Oli on this. What is this Honda. bike? Honda. Clip. Clip. Ah, cool. Buen viaje. Gracias, gracias, gracias. One for you, one for your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Just having a break at the moment in the shade. It is hot here. It is seriously hot. Oh. Yes. Ah. yes. Nice. Chops Yes. 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 Gracias, gracias. So we have three hours to go now to reach Bogota, 67 miles. So that's a really slow three hours. It's like 20 something miles an hour. It's still just on track to get there today before sunset. But yeah, we've got to make a move. Oh my God, it's getting crazy now. The bike is registering 40 degrees. That's really not funny. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. Yeah. I could feel that it was really hot, but I didn't realize like how hot. Yeah, I didn't realize. I mean, 30 seems now like, like a nice breeze, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but it's like 40 degrees, oh my God. The air is hot, everything's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hey? Anyway, three hours to get to Bogota. Yeah, let's do it. A few moments later. Looks like Colombia is giving us a final goodbye because it's raining. <laughs> Yesterday and the day before was so good. Uh, okay, we're going to have to stop, put our rain jackets on, I reckon. Just stopping here at the side of the highway for our last break. We're now an hour and a half from Bogota. And it stopped raining, which is nice. 
that is nice but yeah it's been some kind of ride so far wow and after so many days on the road in a row my butt is really sore but it's really crazy to think about that this is actually our last ride in south america on one side i'm really sad but on the other side i'm really happy as well south america was a long way yeah. i mean we were only at seven thousand miles when we arrived in uh Brazil, right? In Rio. And now we're at 22 and a half, nearly 23,000 miles. A hell of a ride, hey? It's been a long way. One more leg to go. Okay, we're definitely getting closer to Bogota now because, <laughs> oh man, it's getting a little bit busy, let's say. We hit some really serious traffic here, definitely. <laughs> yeah, we are only about seven miles, six or seven miles. No, even like, wait, let me see you. How many miles we are away? We are away six miles. Six miles from our accommodation, which is basically in the city. They estimate it will take us 33 minutes <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a pretty slow, slow slog in this last bit, but it's been pretty good. But then suddenly it was just like, boom, you're on this road heading into the city with everyone else. Man, it's absolutely, absolutely mental here. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of motorcyclists, they're taking like this side bit here. But I mean, that's like an off-road obstacle course over there. I don't yeah. know. I mean, look, look at that crazy man i just don't want to get another nail actually in our new tire this is like my worry yeah i don't think it's a good idea that no. we come off this road and onto the side there look at it <laughs> wow but look at that hey everyone is like trying to to yeah. make it yeah I, I mean good on these motorcyclists they're doing really well <laughs> they're really trying wow incredible at least all the motorcyclists are wearing helmets here like a lot of them hey yeah it's true I think they, uh, I think it's, oh mate, I'm going to go here, yep, I don't know if this is buses only or whatever, but we'll do it. Yeah, I mean, all bikes did it, hey? Everyone's doing it. Oh my god, they're nearly getting squeezed in between two buses. Oh my, oh my lord. Oh my lordy lord. Okay. Yeah, let's go down here. Yes. This is the moto lane. Woo! And the bicycle lane. <laughs> So whilst we're grinding our way into the outskirts of Bogota, I thought I would give you some facts about this city. So the city has a population of 8 million people. It's also the third highest capital city in the world after La Paz and Quito. Yeah, it lays 2,640 meters above sea level. It's on like a high plateau called the Bogota Savannah. So it's actually much cooler here uh, than it was for most of our ride through Colombia. I mean, here is now 26 degrees. It's pretty crazy to think that at one point today we had 40 degrees actually. Yeah, so it's definitely nicer to be at this altitude than it is to be where we were before. The city was actually founded in 1538 uh, and it was made the capital of what was at the time called the Kingdom of New Granada and then it was transferred and became the capital of Colombia when they got their independence in 1819. <laughs> So it's just one mile to go. Wow. Whew. Just seven more minutes apparently. <laughs> the tough last mile, hey? Yeah, you know, I'm just like, come on, let's get Bumblebee there in one piece. We've survived so much. Yeah. It's always uh, tricky going into the cities. And we always apparently have a reason to ride into every, nearly every capital city for every country we go through. Palacio Real. I think that would be their parking then, just here. Yeah. Oh, look at dog! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> that dog is too big for that bike. Oh, oh my lord. Gracias! It's okay? Okay, gracias. <laughs> we made it! Happy and alive! Yes! We reached Bogota! Oh my god, is that nice! I didn't think we'd be able to make it in as many days as we had, but we're here! And as well, 
Again, it's the last room in the last corner of the whole hotel. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah, we kind of have a city view. Have a look. Got like a giant windowsill and we've got some pigeons as neighbors. It was a short but really intense time here in Colombia and I'm really really sad that we can't spend any more time here because the country looks just amazing. Yeah, it's been a pretty challenging ride to get over to here. I had food poisoning, we had a flat tire, we had detours, we had landslides. It was like everything was trying to stop us from making this flight on this week but we did it. So now all we have to do is get Bumblebee cleaned tomorrow and then the day after, Bumblebee is taking the plane and we haven't booked our flights yet, but maybe we're gonna take the plane as well on the same day. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, that you can join us on Patreon, the link is in the description below. We will see you next time.